Why do some developers use Vercel or Netlify instead of just going to AWS? Well, it's easy and convenient. You can save time learning how to manage your infrastructure and use a tool that has great developer experience. Next Hub is a new similar tool that has two main differences. First, instead of AWS, it's built for Cloudflare, so it's designed to help you build full stack apps on the edge. And second, instead of completely abstracting away the underlying infrastructure, it deploys to your Cloudflare account, so you're still in control of all of your data and billing. And because you have full control of that data, Next Hub won't mark up any Cloudflare pricing. I've been trying it for a little and it makes things really easy. As someone who's never touched Cloudflare, because has honestly confused me, the level of abstraction that Nuxt Hub gives is perfect. And it has that expected really good Nuxt DX on both the admin side and also in the code base. Even though it's just in beta, it already has a decent number of features set up. We can deploy on the edge using Cloudflare pages. We can create, manage, and access a SQL database. There's KV storage and even blob storage. So let's try it out by logging into Nuxt Hub clicking new project, and then cloning the starter template. If we then use Nux Hub to import this, it will trigger our first build. And this does a ton of things. First, it'll deploy our site and give us a Nux.dev domain. And here we can see how the starter ties into a lot of the Nux Hub features. We can upload an image, use KV to save server redirects, and send messages that get saved in a database. And the coolest thing is that all of these are built on our Cloudflare account. So if I go to my Cloudflare dashboard, I can see the database under D1, the key value under KV, and even that blob storage in an R2 bucket. But if we want a more straightforward and simpler DX, we can access all of this through the Nuxt Hub admin panel, where we have a nice UI for our database, an easy way to edit our KV storage, and even a great way to view and upload to our blob storage. And this is why I think Nuxt Hub is a great way to build on Cloudflare. It's easy to get set up, even if you don't know Cloudflare, because it creates all the tools that your app needs. In my opinion, it has a more streamlined interface in Cloudflare's dashboard, and it's also really affordable. It doesn't upcharge the CloudFront cost since it's running on your account, and from the admin side, it has a generous free tier that has basically everything but team functionalities. And even working with the codebase eliminates a lot of the friction that can come with configuring Cloudflare. If we look at the codebase, it looks like a regular Nuxt app, but in our config, we can see that we're using the Nuxt Hub core module. Then also have a section here where we're turning on different features of Nuxt Hub, like our database, KV, blob, and cache. And if we run this locally, we can see that our app creates a .data folder that has D1, KV, and R2 storage for our local development. And things just work. I'm gonna expose myself a little here, but I was trying to get all of these Cloudflare features working with my own Nuxt project, and I was struggling. I could hear like the C developers in my ear complaining about the dumb web devs, but that's the beauty of tools like Nuxt Hub. I'm sure I'll learn more about Cloudflare as I work with it, but it's not a barrier for me getting started. I'm fine to let it do a lot of that heavy lifting so I can focus on actually building the application. And even when building that application, a lot of the abstractions that Nuxt Hub provides makes it easier. Like there's pre-built methods to handle uploads or even multi-part uploads, or even nice ways to batch and run SQL queries. But as I've come to expect from everything Nuxt related, DX is really a priority. There's even a whole recipe on how to use Drizzle to manage your database. But this is a tool I want to get on your radar. It's in beta, so you can go ahead and try it out. And I honestly think that you get something deployed in like 10 minutes if you don't have a Cloudflare account and even less if you do. So try it out. Let me know what you think down below. I want to make more videos on this. So let me know anything you'd be curious in seeing.